The Nazca Lines are a set of ancient geoglyphs found in the desert region of Peru, known as Nazca. They were built by a pre-Incan culture that lived in the area from 200 BC to 600 AD. The lines can be seen from the air and are best appreciated from a bird's eye view. The Nazca Lines have been studied for decades, but there is no consensus on their purpose or what they represent. Some say they are giant astronomical calendars. Some say they are sacred paths for rituals, while others insist that they were meant to be seen only by gods and not humans. But were they really made by people? Or could it have been a different type of civilization with more knowledge than we can give credit for? The figures range in complexity from simple lines to stylized hummingbirds, spiders, monkeys, fish, sharks, orcas, and lizards, some of them over 200 meters long, all made by removing rocks and placing them side by side without any type of mortar to keep them together. Another interesting fact about these geoglyphs is that they were drawn on a perfectly flat surface, with slopes never exceeding 2%, which creates the impression that the figures are about to swim or float in the air. The Nazca lines are so impressive that when people saw them for the first time, they thought they must have been drawn by extraterrestrial beings, hence their name. Many drawings have been attributed to the Paracas culture or to the Nazca culture that is usually associated with them, not only due to its proximity, but also by the similarity of some of the figures. What are these lines and what do they signify? Were they made by otherworldly beings? Did an advanced society draw them for a reason? There are about 10,000 kilometers of lines that stretch across 400 square kilometers of land in the Nazca Desert. The fact that they have been drawn on a perfectly flat surface proves that the makers must have used a map, which puts into question what kind of map could have been available five centuries before the age of Christ. The longest line is around eight kilometers long and the widest measures 370 meters. In some places, there are up to six lines placed one next to another, sometimes as wide as seven meters. These drawings were made from one single piece of material, rocks. Some figures were ground by removing stones from a shallow incision or by digging a small cavity. Others were made by piling together, often overlapping them like a puzzle, small rocks of different sizes to depict what they wished. In total, there are more than 800 geoglyphs on an area of approximately 450 kilometers squared, but only 50 have been well conserved so far due to their proximity to the city of Nazca and to two nearby airports which means they can be easily accessed by tourists and scientists. The Nazca Lines are part of the provincial capital and should be visited by any tourist who visits Peru as they really are unique and cannot be compared to other geoglyphs anywhere in the world. This is a magical and moving place that will make you feel like you've found one of man's best kept secrets. What is hiding under the mysterious Nazca lines of Peru? There is a theory that the incisions were made by the Nazca culture in order to worship their gods, particularly the god who created life on earth and who was revered every time it rained. Most importantly, these drawings are linked to worship which can be deduced from their location in a place which assures the fertility of the soil and ensures a regular supply of water, essential to life in arid desert regions. The figures that we see today were made between 400 and 650 AD, but the drawings could be much older given the erosion, which is slowly destroying them. However, it is known for sure that they were made before the arrival of the Spanish colonizers in 1532. In order to have a reliable calendar, the Nazca people used a ritual that took place every 52 years. There are some mythological versions which state that it was not them who built the lines but extraterrestrial beings who came from their planet and landed on Earth with the mission of leaving messages for those who would come after them as proof of their visit. What were they trying to say though? Are there hidden messages lying in these mysterious lines? The mystery surrounding the Nazca lines lies in their incredible design. These geoglyphs located in the Nazca Desert were first seen from the sky by a pilot who flew over them and was amazed to discover such an incredible design. The lines were drawn on perfectly flat ground, without slopes exceeding 2%, which means that they cannot be appreciated if we look at them from anywhere except above. 
or if we fly over them. The mystery surrounding these lines is tremendous. Who drew them? What were they used for? Why are they located in the middle of nowhere, far from civilization? The oldest version of this geoglyphs is dated at 400 BC, which makes it around 2,000 years old since Nazca culture emerged approximately in 100 AD. But there are versions that date back to 1,500 BC. Who drew the Nazca lines? The other mystery surrounding the Nazca lines is the people that drew them. Despite evidence that supports the idea that they were made by the Nazca culture, there are also versions that support the theory that it could have been another culture or even extraterrestrials. The reason why some people believe they were made by ancient astronauts is due to their proximity to an archaeological site known as Kakuachi, where extremely advanced technology was used for agricultural purposes, so much so that scientists are still not able to replicate it today after more than 70 years of intensive study. So these mysterious lines have captured our imagination since ancient times. Are we finally going to find out exactly who drew them? Are we going to find out what they mean? Or will we be left with a lot of unanswered questions, just as we have been for hundreds of years? What do historians know about the Nazca lines? Is there something we are not being told? These lines have been studied in depth mainly due to their impression on culture. Currently, it is known that the desert was much different when these drawings were created, much wetter with lakes where boats could sail through, and that the Nazca people changed their living environment by clearing the rainforest to make room for agriculture. In ancient times, from 500 BC to 500 AD, this part of Peru became a place where civilizations would gather resources such as water, fodder for animals and fertile soil for crops, but also a place where they could leave behind evidence of their passage. The most famous of the geoglyphs is the monkey. This drawing represents a monkey which can measure up to 130 meters long, and it would have required around 10 hectares of land. There are bigger drawings, like one that measures 400 meters in length and 200 in width, which would have required clearing over 46 hectares of land. It is also believed that at the time these drawings were made, there were no borders or divisions among tribes and civilizations. So why did they draw them? What were they trying to say? Researchers have found a lot of evidence to support the idea that these geoglyphs could have been drawn for religious purposes in order to please their gods or ask for guidance, but also that they were used by priests to mark the passage of time. The first study about these geoglyphs was promoted by an engineer who flew over them in 1941 on a commercial flight. Years later, in 1968, historian Toribio Megias Est was shown some of the drawings by a pilot who had overflown them a couple of years earlier. The rest is history. It is believed that the Nazca people built a network of underground aqueducts and tunnels to carry water from the areas where it was abundant to arid regions, where they could use it to irrigate their crops. Researchers have found 90 kilometers of tunnels under the ground in Nazca, and among them, there are underground passages which connect some of the geoglyphs in this area. It is not known if all drawings were made at the same time or whether they were added to over the years, but it is believed that construction began in 500 BC and ended between 400 and 650 AD. Some scientists believe that these drawings could be a calendar because some lines point towards the sunrise on the summer or winter solstices. Also, it is believed that they could have been used as a marker of underground water sources because some lines lead directly to subterranean aqueducts. But why were they depicted as animals and other symbols? Some parts of the Nazca lines even look like landing strips for aircraft. Why would an ancient civilization go to such lengths to create such extensive and massive use of symbology? Perhaps we will never know. Many people are still debating what these symbols mean. Some think that they are just for decoration and that they don't have any meaning at all. Others believe that it had some kind of sacred or spiritual significance. The fact remains that we will never know for sure what these symbols mean unless we somehow find out what the people who created them believed them to be and why they were created. Perhaps we need to wait just a little longer to find out. Stay tuned for more next time. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications for new videos.